While some events are taking place in Milwaukee, the majority of the convention is virtual. So what kind of effect will that have on the campaign? We asked that question to Maurice Shepard, chair of Madison College's political science department. So Maurice, how important are national conventions in this day and age? National um, political party conventions, particularly as they relate to the two dominant parties, Democratic Republican Party, are very important. They allow the parties to establish their um, operating rules, um, allows them to create a policy platform, what direction is the party going, and also uh, having a national a presidential nomination convention where they can nominate uh, someone who will represent the party as president and also uh, a VP nominee. Well, this is uncharted territory that we're in. We've never seen a convention quite like this. And how much enthusiasm do you think a digital convention will generate? Uh, I think it will be a different type of enthusiasm. There are a number of experts that make the point that you're not going to get the traditional sort of enthusiasm or bump that usually comes out of a, um, a national uh, 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 convention of this type, simply because you don't have the physical presence. Um, but I think it, it will still be very important. It still will be able to, again, present uh, the nominees, um, get the party platform out there, uh, again, and still get some individuals sort of uh, mobilized and energized at the grassroots level uh, to participate in this um, election cycle. What does Joe Biden hope to get out of this convention? What are the things he needs to do now? Uh, well, the first rule of, of a convention, almost similar to selecting a VP candidate, is do no harm. Mm -hmm. um, again, uh, avoid any major mistakes, but also to make clear, you know, what does he stand for? And also, what does the Democratic Party uh, stand for? I think a major... Um, a major uh, victory or goal of the Democratic Party, and including once again um, uh, Vice President Biden, nominee Biden, is to make a have a clear difference, draw a clear difference between uh, the Democratic Party uh, and the Republican Party, and what he would bring as president compared to the incumbent president. And what do you think the Kamala Harris effect will be or will mean? In the short term, I think there, and I think some of the data has shown that there, there has been somewhat of a bump. Um, and I think, uh, and that bump is good for the Democratic Party. Uh, usually those bumps sort of, once again, the uptick in terms of polling support, they don't last very long. But I think it can be very positive in the short and the long run. Uh, she represents um, uh, something new in terms of American politics. A woman of color being, once again, the vice presidential uh, nominee. Also, I think with this particular Democratic convention, and I think Joe Biden has also sort of indicated this, he said this um, on a number of occasions, that he is a bridge to the future. So for Kamala Harris as the nominee for vice president, and also if you look at the list of speakers uh, that will um, participate in this virtual convention over the next few days, uh, the Democratic Party is positioning itself uh, for identifying leaders for the future and also getting those uh, future leaders um, familiar with with voters, with Americans, so that, um, yes, we have to look at the 2020 election cycle, but I think the Democratic Party in particular, Joe Biden, is also trying to position the party for the future. It's going to be an interesting week in Milwaukee, God. to say the least, and what, 70 some odd days till the election day. That's right. All right. Maurice, thanks for being with us today. Thank you very much. Great to see you. Thank you so much for your time. All right. Well, take care.